It was a wild evening for firefighters in Baltimore City battling two separate row home fires, literally just blocks apart. This was breaking news earlier tonight well, here on WJZ. As you can see, the flames at one point were shooting right through that roof, this along North Avenue today. And at this hour, we know two firefighters did suffer injuries. WJZ live at 11 o'clock. Kelsey Cushion with much more on what we know so far. Kelsey. Rick, well, fire officials say that both of those fires were two alarm fires. Now, fortunately, firefighters were able to get the flames under control at both of those scenes, but neighbors we spoke with say they've never seen anything quite like it. It was pretty large and raging. Thick black smoke billowed out of this row home on Ricer's Down Road. Dark black smoke and the top of the roof is on fire. You can actually see flames. Chopper 13 was overhead Wednesday afternoon as firefighters rushed to get control of this two alarm fire. We came upon a dwelling fire with heavy fire on the second floor and through the roof. Fire officials say the fire sparked around 4 p.m. when crews arrived on scene. Three homes, one vacant, two occupied, were engulfed in smoke, and one firefighter suffered minor injuries. It was pretty intense. Just a few blocks over, another fire broke out on West North Avenue. The two alarm fire spread to three homes, one vacant, one under construction, and the other occupied. We did have a partial collapse in one of the dwellings. Fire Chief Roman Clark says while battling the flames, a firefighter was injured and transported to a local hospital with minor injuries. Now, fire officials say that they are still working with investigators to figure out what exactly sparked both of those fires. They do tell us that they are expecting both of those firefighters to be okay. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJC. Kelsey, thank you. As we just mentioned, two of those six homes that caught fire were vacant. Now, we told you this week that Baltimore City leaders are working to address the problems surrounding the city's 15,000 vacant homes. It has been a problem for years now. New bills would actually hold property owners accountable by imposing stiffer fines. Earlier this year, three firefighters died in a vacant home fire.